G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Welcome to this edition. Now, one of the things that SharePoint is amazing at is coming up with the right solution for the right outcome. And that's why it's really important for us to start with what we're trying to achieve first and start from the outcome in mind. And this is one of those situations that we're going to have a look at now is by thinking about what we're trying to achieve and how we want to actually display some content. In this case, we're going to be looking at uh, later resources that could be in the form of videos or PowerPoint slide decks or documents or things like that then we want a nice visual way to be able to represent those now the news web part uh, and the news publishing functionality in SharePoint uh, provides us with a really good platform not just for news but for lots of other different types of scenarios so we just need to think outside of the box a little bit and see how we can utilize the tools that we have to come up with a really good end result. So what we're gonna have a look at here is how we can use the news link post type uh, to then uh, display some latest resources of different types, okay? So PowerPoints, videos, and things like that. So let's have a look what we're going to do here. So you can see I'm on the landing, which is a typical uh, homepage of an intranet. We can see we've got company news and updates in one news web part, and then we've got latest blog articles in a different web part. Now, what you'll notice here is this latest blog articles, these are actually using the news link uh, post type. So when we go add, we, we got, get the option to go news post or news link. Now news post creates a new SharePoint page and news link allows us to paste in a URL and then get the information back from that URL and then uh, provide access to that resource. So quite often, People are, are limiting their thoughts around, right, we need to use this for news specifically. But I'm gonna show you a way that we can utilize this in a different manner. So I'm going, just gonna use this latest blog articles uh, section here and I'm going to click the add. Now, you can see in the tab here, uh, now every single page and every single news art, uh, news post and news link gets added to the, sh the site pages of the site that we're actually on. So. I've got a video library here in our uh, landing uh, site collection. Now, what's good about adding a link is that this can be, or the sources or the destinations can be actually on any site. As long as it's got a URL, it can be on any site in your intranet, internally or externally as well. So I've got some videos here, and I've also got this PowerPoint slide deck that we've the sales team has just uh, created, and we want people to know about this latest resource. All right, so what I'm gonna do with this PowerPoint deck is I'm gonna click the share button. And what we're going to do is make sure that we've got everybody in Contoso, so people in Contoso have got access. I don't want them to edit it, I just want them to view it, all right? So I'm gonna hit the apply button. That's going to generate, when I click copy link, a link for us to utilize. So I can then jump back onto the landing and click on new news link and then I can paste in the URL of that PowerPoint slide deck and automatically it gets a, uh, a, a, a preview image. It also gives us a title and it also allows us to write a description, all right? So we can write um, a description here, the latest uh, deck from the US sales team, like so. Um, let's just fix up the spelling here. Uh, we can change this, uh, the, the title if we want. We can even change the thumbnail at this point, all right? So let's change the thumbnail here. We might choose, let's just choose this image for now. Uh, and we've got this preview image of for that PowerPoint slide deck. Now, because I've set this up in a way that I've got two tags uh, here, I've got a category in the site pages library, before I post this, I'm going to edit the news link details. And that allows me to go a little bit further, uh, gives me a full page experience. I can go to the page details here. And now, because I've got some additional metadata, I can say this is a blog post, right? Because that's gonna make this news link appear in that separate, uh, in that secondary news web part on the homepage. So I'm then gonna post that uh, news link there, all right? So we're now posted that. 
Uh, I'm then going to jump back on to the landing homepage. And then what we'll see down uh, in this section here, latest blog articles, is that I've got what looks like a news article, but it's actually a link to a PowerPoint slide deck. And when I click on that uh, link, it then takes me to that PowerPoint slide deck. All right. So it's a, it's a different use case. Just thinking outside the box a little bit, people like, and I, uh, I think the, the user uh, interface of the news web parts in SharePoint is something that you can utilize for lots of different types of scenarios. Let's give a video a go. So again, I'm going to go to new news link. I'm going to go to a video and let's go to the month, uh, Contoso monthly Q and A. Same thing, I'm gonna hit the share button, or what we could also do is just select this uh, item here, and I could copy the link. It's going to give a um, the opportunity for me to say, right, people in Contoso, I want you to be able to view this. Let's apply, I've got the link. Let me copy that link now, and using the same functionality, I'm gonna paste the link to the video in this case here, I get the title and I can use the description here. Um, let's go view the latest um, monthly Q and A right here. Uh, Q and A, maybe we'll put a little emoji in here too. And now I'm going to change the preview image. So let's pop in a preview image here for this video. And again, I'm going to edit this. I just want to make sure that it appears in the right position on the home page. So I'm going to jump into here and then I am going to select blog posts and I will then post that news. All right. So that's posting. We are done. We'll jump back onto the home page. And if I scroll down here again, we can see that we've got a link, not this time, not to a news article as such, not to a PowerPoint or a document but to a video. When I click on that video, it's going to be t I'm going to be taken to the video where I can then consume and uh, watch that content. So just thinking outside the square a little bit, um, starting with the solution or the end result in mind and the outcome in mind first is a great way and SharePoint provides so many different ways to get to that end result. Um, and you can see there, not just news articles, we can use the news publishing functionality of SharePoint for different types of scenarios as well. So I hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next edition.